assume, just assume we're all in the shot, but maybe a little closer in the Let me get rid of my cell phone here in case this thing decides to go off. Y'all tell me, we're good right here? Yeah, I'll leave Alright guys, ready when you guys are. I'm not used to this. It's not Nick Saban y'all got here today. Everybody good? Yeah. Alright, first question is the hardest. Will you say and spell your name so we can sure. screw it up more time? J-E-F-F, Jeff Allen, A-L-L-E-N. And your official title? Assistant Athletic Director for Sports Medicine. Um, tell us how he's big with the asset, right? Yeah guys, he's, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. he's going to kind of open up and just My take bad. you through it and then we'll ask questions. You know, I, I think in recent years, everybody knows that there has been a definite increased emphasis on player safety and well-being of athletes, really in all sports and, and certainly in football. So with that principle and that in mind, you know, I started thinking about what we could do at Alabama to increase, you know, what we do on the sideline, especially as it relates to our sideline evaluation of injuries. You know, really, from my standpoint as an athletic trainer, and I know our physicians feel the same way, that first 10 minutes after an injury is really critical for us to get a good evaluation and a good diagnosis of what a player has, and, and then determine how we're going to deal with it and develop a treatment plan. And when you're doing an evaluation on the sideline, clearly there's a ton of distractions, not to mention the privacy issue for the players. So as I started thinking through that, you know, I kind of developed this idea in my head and went and presented it to Chuck Carr. Dr. Dean Carr is obviously the Dean of the College of Engineering here at Alabama, and he was very receptive to it. We have a really good relationship with them between the athletic department and the College of Engineering. They've done a lot of things for us. They've even done some things for us in the, in the medical world and really have been great with us. So he put some of his students on it, some of his senior students that had to do a project, and they were great and very instrumental in helping to develop this idea that I had and, and really bring it to fruition. So it's been a fantastic resource for us and probably been better than we even envisioned. How many prototypes did you guys go through? How many prototypes? We, we went through probably two, I would say. So this is the third one. How yeah. long is this going to work for This started, the whole process started, I started talking to Dean Carr about this in May. I initially met with him in May. And I was thinking this would be something that maybe by the end of the season that we could have a prototype developed. And when I presented it to him, he said, I'll get some students on it next week. They called, they came and met with me, and they said, no, we can have this done before the season started, which I was blown away by. And they did. It's been fantastic. They worked really hard on it. It's been great.